after the judgment of jungle now we are going to watch the poem written by william blake and the name of poem is the school boy school boy is a very nice poem which makes us to commemorate all our memories of the school days very nice school days are the golden days for each and every student in his life of course when we come to college that's an entirely different one but when we are in school high school we are totally protected surrounded and guided by our class teacher mainly our class teacher will be like our guardian like our parent who observe each and every activities of us and on from our side we will also go for lots of naughtiness lots of childish pranks and lots of pretexts pretendings actings everything remember when we go late to the school how we behave to the teacher we start recalling so many reasons which will be well fit to tell them and when a teacher comes towards us to ask for the homework we act we pretend as if homework is there in our bag then we go on searching in our bag there will be no homework we know we have not done any homework but still we act as if we have done the homework we have brought the book and we are about to show to the teacher hang up my two father now now sir banda vaga nan hatra homework ide nan maadidene bag alli ide ant torustene anno type act maartive ಅದ್ರ ನಿಜವಾಗಿಯೂ ನಮ್ಮ ಹತ್ರ ಒಬ್ಬರು ಬುಕ್ಕೇ ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಆಟ ಮುಂದೆ ಹೋದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ನಾವು ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಹತ್ರ ದೊಡ್ಡದಾಗಿ ಕೊಚ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಏನಂತ ನೋಡೋಣ ಎಷ್ಟು ಚೆನ್ನ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಸರ್ಗೆ ನಾನು ಫೂಲ್ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಟ್ಟೆ ಅಂತ ವಿ ಫೀಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಇನ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ಸಚ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇವನ್ ದೋ ದೆ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗುಡ್ ವಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಗರ್ಲ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಪಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ಯಾಬ್ಲೆಟ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಕಂಫರ್ಟ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಇಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಟೀಚರ್ madam or sir they come near us we will we will not become ready to show all those tablets and salt but we like to hide from them we like to escape from them and we find it as our great uh, victory over them these are the things that we go on doing and sometimes we like to skip the exercises saturday when p class will be there we want to skip it such things we enjoy in our life we talk with our friends we discuss we say that we have done something great work in our life and all these things give us a humorous memories to the mind and we feel happy by doing all those things but this does not say that we are not serious about studying we are serious about studying we do like the school we want to go to school and we wish to spend our time with the friends why because that's the age when we depend more on our friends we don't depend on our parents we don't depend on our teachers we don't depend on our brothers or sisters but we trust more our friends and we feel that our friend is the all and all in all for us in the same way we don't like to miss the school we like to go to school but how how we go all those things the poet wants to explain through this poem the school boy and he starts with the boy's feelings about getting up in the morning going to school what joy it takes what are the things that are enjoyable for him on the road everything the poet has explained here very nicely in for first four lines first one is i love to rise in the summer morn when the birds sing on every tree the distant huntsman winds his horn the sky lark sings with me oh what is sweet company the poet here tells in the voice of a boy tells in the voice of a school boy that he loved to rise in the summer morning he loves to get up very early in the morning he likes to finish up all his morning works he likes to go to school with a nice uniform in a happy mood and 
when he was going on the road he likes to enjoy the bird sounds because morning we listen very melodious sounds of the birds twittering and chattering of the birds will also give us a enjoyable thing we feel that the distant huntsman winds his horn these soundings birds twittering bird sounds huntsman's winds skylark singing skylark singing is also a very melodious thing to the mind enjoyable thing for the mind so the poet tells that all these are the sweet companies for him so he is telling which are all the sweet companies for him first one is bird songs second one huntsman winding huntsman winding his horn third one the singing of the skylark all the three he counts as a sweet company he don't say oh, one thing is sweet company and another is not their concern he likes all the three he calls all the three as a sweet company which are all the three that he counts as a uh, sweet company first one is singing of the birds second one huntsman winding his horn and third one the singing of the skylark all the three things are the happy things for a boy and he likes to enjoy all these three things in his life every day when he is going to the school then but to go to school on the summer morn oh it drives all the joy away poet is of the opinion that he likes to go to school but the moment he enters the school all his joy go away why he feels like that because he is having a lot of expectation in his mind about the school about the teacher he thinks teacher will love him he feels he will have a very nice company in the school also but when he enters the classroom he feels afraid by the teacher's complaints he feels that teacher is angry on him he feels that teacher will scold him if he don't do the homework and he feels that all the four walls of the classroom are like a jail to him i feel because he don't depend on he don't believe in the formal education he wants that education should be informal he wants that education should be in a free mind and he wants to enjoy the study but here he tells that he this little one spends his day in a sighing and dismay he don't like the school's dull and drooping atmosphere so so many years back William Blake poet has written about this after this we have seen there are so many changes in the education system by looking at the mentality of the children only they have brought the nally gally system nowadays we know it all of you know it. the ch- child is asked to study in a playful way take some pebbles count them give to your friends see the elephant uh, subtraction everything they are teaching in a playful way and the children were feeling like this that they are spending their time in sighing and display dismay so they they brought a tremendous change in education system this is making the children to feel happy nowadays but earlier the children used to feel that the teachers scorn fly fills fear in his mind it will drive all his joy away which will which will drive the joy away from him the teachers for flies then how the boy sent says that he will spend his day in a school he says that he will spend his day in a school in sighing and dismay many a time the question will come in that way how the school boy spends his day in the school the school boy spends his day in the school in sighing and dismay i what he is afraid of in the classroom he is afraid of teacher scornful eyes this shows that everything was too formal and he was expecting he means here not one individual mentality is going on but here he is a representation of all the school boys of his age he is telling about the feelings of all the school boys of his particular age that they don't like formal education 
they want to learn everything in a playful way they want to educate themselves in a joyful way this message the poet wants to give through this poem school boy now coming to the st third stanza he is telling that spend many an anxious hour nor in my book can i take delight nor sit in learner's power or through with a dry shadow he tells that he don't want to sit in a learner's ball why he don't want to sit in learning ball because he feels it is totally boring for him because it is like a dry shower avunge classroom alli kutkondu naalku gode gal madhe kaliyudu andre avani baal andre baal bejar anustu we have seen such concept in the mentality of ravindranath tagore here he has established his university established his university in bengal in open air from kg to pg all the classes were being run in a free uh, free atmosphere such feelings of the children are honored here the same thing is telling he don't take any joy in the book he don't like to sit there in the classroom and listen to the boring um sayings about the chapters the study about the dry lines he wants to enjoy the nature the hints is given in the first stanza only where the boy says that he is enjoying the boat singing skylark singing huntsman's horn i will say that he likes to get up early in the morning listen to the singing of the birds listen to the huntsman's horn listen to the skylark song then go to school this shows that the boy is having more liking towards the nature the boy is not having any liking towards the classroom learning see that when that style of teaching has been adopted nowadays it is entirely different matter but here when we are expressing the feeling of the school boy he is only he is a representation of the same age hundreds and hundreds of boys he is not the only one who is speaking here how can the bird that is born for joy sit in a cage and sing how can a child run fears and noise but droop the tender wing or get the youthful spring so very nice stanza is telling that the bird which is born for freedom the bird which is born for joyful singing will not sing if it is kept in a cage that means the learning capacity is cut down the boys or a girls the students who are in the school if they see the sparkle light of the eye of the teacher then automatically they feel that their wings have been cut down their freedom is cut down and they are asked to study only in one narrow path they have not been given a wide range of thinking the child wants that he should be given the chance to think chance to express chance to say something whatever he feels like but in this school atmosphere of the four walls in between it never gives such a enjoyment it never gives such a mentality for study so that only the poet is expressing here in the state of a bird caged bird the bird which is born for free and born for joy that bird if it is kept in a cage then it can never come out it can never sing in a melodious voice so many stories are told about the caged bird and we speak about kids poem the dove there also we see the poet cries for the death of a dove he tells so many things he has given to high priests he has a tied it like with a very delicate silk thread woven by himself but still why the bird should die he asked the question to the dove of course the uh, dove is no more to answer for him but he will get answer for himself why the bird died because the bird lost its freedom the birds cannot be bird cannot be free in the cage even though man loves it even though man give it a golden cage even though man give tied with a silken thread by his own hands woven bird don't like it 
same thing is to like extra love care what is given to the children it may be felt by them as a golden cage cage is cage golden one or flower i am not but the cage only the feeling will be same so here the boy is expressing his feeling that he don't like that school atmosphere he comes to school with a great hope he comes to school with a great enjoyment great free uh, free mentality but once he entered the classroom all his joys are driven driven away why is driven away because he don't like that dry atmosphere of the classroom oh father oh mother if the buds are nipped the blossoms are blown away and if the tender plants are stripped of their joy in spring in day by sorrow and cares dismay so now he is addressing to the parents oh father oh mother is telling oh father you are providing me everything oh mother you are showing me a lot of care and affection but still i can't take joy in the school why because the buds are nipped how he is telling how he is expressing about the buds are nipped here you know whenever the child comes to the parents and ask hundreds of questions parents must have a patience to answer all the questions of the child magu and question bank it makkalalli 100 questions irta mind ola enu one ghatane nodi when why how what naalku question keltaro yaake enu yaake avugalinda uttara kodbe ನಾವು ಎಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಫ್ರೀಯಾಗಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಎಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳಿಗೆ ಉತ್ತರ ಕೊಡ್ತೀವೋ ಆವಾಗ ಅವ್ರ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವಿಕಸನಗೊಳ್ತದೆ ಆವಾಗ ಅವರು ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಕೆಪ್ಯಾಸಿಟಿ ಬೆಳೀತದೆ ಬಟ್ ಮೆಜಾರಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ಟೈಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಸ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಹಾಂ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಯು ಗುಡ್ ಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಪೇರ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಮನಿ ಆನ್ ಯು ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟಾಯ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಚೈ ಡೋ ವಾಂಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಸೈಕೊಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡೆನ್ಸಿ ಆನ್ ದ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ psychological dependency on the teachers you see many a time i had seen a child when it comes to school it brings a small flower to the teacher but it comes in mind that he had brought a big gift for her he had brought a lot of love for her in that small flower when sand magu and sand nu chikka hoota the teacher kodbekar eshtu aashe ko anta nirthadu teacher nam best antara good antara chalo antara anta aashe maartan bandittu ಟೀಚರ್ ಆಹ್ವಾನಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ತಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮುಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ದಿನಕ್ಕೆ ಹತ್ತು ಸರಿ ಬಂದ ಆ ಮಗು ಟೀಚರ್ ತಲೆ ಕಡೆ ನೋಡ್ತಿರ್ತಾವೆ ಹೂ ಅದನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ವೇಳೆ ಅದು ಹೂ ಏನಾದರೂ ಬಿದ್ದೋಗಿತ್ತು ಅಂದರೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ದುಃಖ ಪಡ್ತದ ಆ ಮಗು ಅಂದರೆ ಅದರ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತದ ಆ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ಸನ್ನು ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಸೇರಿ ಆನರ್ ಮಾಡಲಿ ಕಲಿತ್ರ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಲರ್ನ್ ಟು ಆನರ್ ದ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಟೋಮೆಟಿಕ್ಲಿ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಓನ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಶೋರ್ಲಿ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಡೂ ನಾಟ್ ಆನರ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ mentality if we do not honor the child's feelings emotions then automatically we are nipping the bud we are not giving any scope for child for its development in the life i have seen one boy very nice boy beautiful smart handsome boy of a second or third standard he used to sit there near the school but you are not going in front of the school and the puttur guy ಭಾಳ ಚಂದ ಭಾಳ ಸ್ಮಾರ್ಟ್ ಭಾಳ ಮುದ್ದಾದ ಮಗು ಅದು ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಗಿಂತ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ದೂರದ ಮನೆ ಮೇಲೆ ಕಟ್ಟಿ ಹೋಗಿ ಹೀಗೆ ಕೂತಾರಪ್ಪ ಅವ್ರು ಕಟ್ಟಿ ಮೇಲೆ ಒಂದು ಸರಿ ನಾನು ಹೋಗಿ ನಿಂತೆ ಅವ್ರ ಕಡೆ ನೋಡುವ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ನೀವು ಅಂತ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಆರ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಲೇಟ್ ರಬ್ಬಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಪಾಟಿ ಒಳಗೆ ಏನೋ ಬರೀತಿತ್ತು ಮಗು ರಬ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿತ್ತು ಅಳ್ತಿತ್ತು ಯಾಕೆ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ಅದ್ರ ಹತ್ತಿರ ನಿಂತ್ಕೊಂಡು ನೋಡಿದೆ ನಾನು ಹಿಂಗೆ ನಿಂತು ಅದೇನು ಹಾಡ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಒಂದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಹಾಡು ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಗೊತ್ತಿರೋ ಹಾಡೇ ಅದು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಏನು ಹಾಕಿತ್ತು ನನ್ನ ಪಾಟೆ ಕರೆಯೋದು ಸುತ್ತು ಕಟ್ಟು ಬಿಳಿಯೋದು ಅ ಆ ಈ ಬರೆದೇನು ಇಷ್ಟು ಮೂರು ಲೈನ್ ಸರಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದವು ನಾಲ್ಕನೇ ಲೈನ್ ಏನಿತ್ತು ಅಮ್ಮ ನೋಡಿ ನಕ್ಕಳು ಉಂಡಿಯನ್ನು ಕೊಟ್ಟಳು ಅಂತ ಇತ್ತು ಅದು ಎರಡು ಲೈನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಿರ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನು ಹೇಳಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಅವ್ನಿಗೆ ಭಾಳ ದುಃಖ ಬರ್ತಿತ್ತು ಅವನೇನು ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದ ಅಮ್ಮ ನೋಡಿ ನಗಲಿಲ್ಲ ಉಂಡಿಯನ್ನು ಕೊಡಲೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹತ್ತು ಬಿಡ್ತಿದ್ದ ಪುತ್ ರಮ್ಸಿ ಕೇಳಿದೆ ಯಾಕಪ್ಪ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದೆ ನಮ್ಮಮ್ಮ ನುಡಿದಿಲ್ಲ ರೀ ನಮ್ಮಮ್ಮ ಯಾವತ್ತೂ ನನಗೆ ಅಪ್ರಿಸೇಟ್ ಮ
ನಂಗೆ ಭಾಳ ಕೆಟ್ಟನಸ್ ಈ ಮಗು ಹಿಂಗೆ ಕರ್ ಬಾಕ್ತ ಅಂತ ಹುಡುಗನ ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡು ಅವ್ರ ಮನೆಗೆ ಬಂದು ಅವ್ರ ಅಮ್ಮ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಅಂತೀವಿ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳಿ ಬಂದೆ ಅವ್ರ ಅಮ್ಮ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮಗು ಇಷ್ಟು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ತೊಂದರೆ ತಗೊಳ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅವ್ನು ಶಾಲೆಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ಸೆಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಲ್ಟರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಹಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹೌಸ್ ಐ ನಿಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಆಫ್ ಟು ದ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಓವರ್ ಹಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಹೋಮ್ ಪ್ಯಾರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಕೌಂಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಹು ಇಸ್ ಆರ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾರೆಂಟ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಹೂ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಥಿಂಕ್ all such things are totally amalgamated together and brought in this poem they are telling that boys school boys must be provided very amicable atmosphere very friendly atmosphere very joyful atmosphere for them to study then only they can bloom like a flower otherwise they are like a bud nipped avu sundaravada hu aage arrokinta hechu aa makkale enaktava ಚಿಕ್ಕಂದಿನಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಮುದುಡಿ ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾವೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಸರಿ ನಾನು ನೋಡಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನಾನು ಒಂದು ಸರಿ ಮಾಡಿರ್ಬೋದು ಸಾರಿ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಹೇಗೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಓಡಿ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ನಾವು ಮನೆಗೆ ಬಂದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಏನೇನೋ ಸುದ್ದಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಿರ್ತಾವೆ ನಾವು ಖುಷಿಯಿಂದ ಅವ್ರ ಮಾತೆಲ್ಲ ಕೇಳಿದೆ ಹಾಂ ಅವ್ರು ಅಂತ ಸ್ಮೈಲ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಅವರು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಇನ್ನು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಹುಡುಕಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕಾದಿ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಅವ್ರು ನಮ್ಮದೇ ಕೆಲಸ ಬಿಸಿ ಇಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹತ್ತು ಸರಿ ಆ ಮಗು ಏನು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಹ್ಞೂ 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 ಇಷ್ಟೇ ಅಂದರೆ ಆ ಮಗು ಎಷ್ಟು ಶಿಟಿಗೆ ಆಗ್ತದಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆ ಬರೀ ಹೂ ಹೂ ಅಂತ ಏನಾರೆ ಮಾತಾಡುವಂಥ ಅದ್ರದ್ದದ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಡೆ ಹೇಳಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಡ್ತು ಇಟ್ ನೆವರ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಕರೇಜ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟಾಕ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಬಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಕರ್ ಅವರ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಅವರ್ ಸರ್ ನಾವೇ ನಾವಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಭವಿಷ್ಯವನ್ನು ಚೂರ್ದಾಗ್ತು ಹಂಗೆ ಆಗಬಾರ್ದು ಅಂದರೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗೂ ಪ್ಯಾರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತು ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಉತ್ತರವನ್ನು ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಕೊಟ್ಟಾಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ಆ ಮಗು ವಿಕಸನ ಕೊಡ್ತದೆ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬ್ಲೂಮ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಫೀಲ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಾರೋಫುಲ್ ಹೌ ಶಾಲ್ ದ ಸಮರ್ ಆರ್ ಐಸ್ ಇನ್ ಜಾಯ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸಮರ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ ಸಫಿಯರ್ ಓ ಹೌ ಶಾಲ್ ವಿ ಗ್ಯಾದರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯ್ ಆರ್ ಬ್ಲಸ್ ದ ಮೆಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಬ್ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಂಟರ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟಲಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಮೆಷರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಟು bring the child up what measure should be taken for the all development of a child that's a big question mark for the poem william blake he is telling that we have to take the good steps we have to take a good measures to improve the life of our children to give them good knowledge to make them to a best citizen in a society we have to allow certain changes in the education system we have to give them in a give them a education in such a way that they must enjoy it they must take it as a joyful thing and they should do response in a nice way their response their responding will help them for their development in the life so here in the voice of the school boy william blake wants to say that how dry is this formal education he is also very against the formal education he wants to bring awareness in the society that children must be given informal education which can bring them a joy in a playful way they must learn in a nice way they should be educated in a joyful way they should be made to come and assemble in one spot this is what the poet william blake wants to convey the message to the society in the character of school boy I feel you have understood the poem. I hope you are better. If you have any problems in this poem, you can ask to me. Thank you.